Welcome to Power Ranking, a show where you, the fans, get to vote on your favorite things in video games, movie, TV, and whatever the hell else the internet can get excited for, and I get to be reminded of how old I am. Anyway, the PS5 release was finally confirmed for just about a year from now in holiday 2020, so we asked what unannounced game you'd like most as a PS5 launch title, and narrowed those answers down to the five most, that's ten, five most suggested games. Then we pulled IGN.com and our YouTube community tab to find out which of those five is the most wanted PS5 launch title. And over 564,000 of you voted. That's actually really big. That's one of our largest voted polls ever. And only a quarter of you were fans of mine. In fifth place, we have Horizon Zero Dawn 2 with 7%. What is wrong with you all? Horizon Zero Dawn was such an amazing game. It sold at least 12 million copies. I think that could be a right number. It's one of the best PS4 exclusives of this generation. We absolutely need another game on PS5. I'm sure we'll get it. Uh, maybe we could just redo this poll. Sorry. Could you repeat that again? Oh, gotcha. We can't redo polls. Uh, why don't we just even the odds then for, you know, the PS5's actual launch. You all go play Horizon Zero Dawn. It's really Really good, you let me know what you think. In fourth place is Bloodborne 2 with 11% of the results. I can only assume that number is so low because most of you, like me, were too scared to play that game because it's really hard and the monsters are spooky. <laughs> Third place is a Batman Arkham game with 12%. This was a really close one. Bloodborne and Batman were actually tied at one point at 12% during this poll's voting. Uh, obviously a Batman Arkham game would make a lot of sense. We've seen rumors, there have been hints from developers WB Games Montreal who made Batman Arkham Origins the lesser loved but still pretty fun prequel game that they may be working on another Batman game. They of course did that tease two days before a Sony State of Play and Microsoft Inside Xbox only to not actually reveal their game which is one of the cruelest jokes of 2019. The other cool joke is my hair. In second place is Marvel Spider-Man 2 with 20% of the votes. Savage underscore burrito 789 says, I'm surprised Batman and Spider-Man don't have more votes, but TBF, the competition is pretty tough. You're right, Savage Burrito 789. TBF, the competition is pretty tough, but hey, guess what? There's another game lower down on this list that all of you are just dumb fanboys for. Spider-Man and Bloodborne and Batman deserve more votes. I hate you all. Kidding, I love you all. And the most wanted PS5 launch title, according to you, the fans, is GTA 6 with 50% of the votes. That's more than double any of these other numbers. I think I'm correct there. I don't know math. I'm a writer. But GTA 6 is one of the most boring choices you could have all made. I'm very disappointed. We all know we're going to get GTA 6 at some point, guys. Pick a better, more creative choice like Kingdom Hearts 4. Boo, boo. No booze. No booze. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a, tr it's a triumph of gaming and it deserves a sequel very soon. Anyway, we can only have five options in our polls. Some of you had great suggestions, like this one. Obviously a new infamous game would make a lot of sense, but I don't know if Sucker Punch is gonna work on that. Probably not gonna see one for a while, considering Sucker Punch is working on Ghost of Tsushima. That said, Andrew Goldfarb, my former boss, who now works at Sucker Punch, if you know of a new infamous, blink twice at this video and tell me. Meanwhile, uh, the gaming melon says, Gao 2, Gears of War 2 already came out, you dummy. Uh, I don't know why this is on the list. You guys made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's a God of War 2. Oh, God of War 2. Yeah, that should definitely have been the top five. God of War is one of the best games of this generation. You're all fools for not including that one. And last but not least, we were also suggested Jack and Daxter 5 by Naughty Dog. That is a good guess, but I have a feeling if Naughty Dog were to go back to the well, it wouldn't be Jack and Daxter. It won't be Uncharted. It would be a gritty reboot of Crash Bandicoot, where Crash must take his son, Crash Jr., up to the top of Dr. Neo Cortex's memorial mountain to spread the ashes of his daughter, Coco. Is Coco his daughter? I don't know. The mythology of that franchise makes no sense, and I love it. Anyway, if you missed this poll, too bad. Do your part and get yourself on IGN.com or IGN's YouTube community tab to get your vote in right now. There are no redos. There's no redos, right? No redos. All right, good. There are no redos. Anyway, is there anything else we left off that should have been number one on this list? Do you agree or disagree with the results of the ranking? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, keep it locked to IGN. Dark Souls 4! Shut up! That's not a bad guess. <laughs> Britton Fow asked, Batman and GTA aren't PlayStation exclusives. Does IGN even play video games? <laughs> I've been playing video games this whole time. Pew, 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 wow, wow, oh, no, no, save me, oh, oh, Golden Girl.
Girls is great. Pew, 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 but not as good as Gilmore Girls. This is a telltale game. Pew, pew, pew. Your dialogue is remembered. Do, 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 do. Only on the Switch. 